In this lecture, let's go ahead and let's quickly implement another API to fetch all the users from the database except the currently logged in user. Let's go to VS Code. And here, let me go ahead and let me copy this route. So this route is to get the details of the currently logged in user. Now, let's go ahead and let's create a route for getting all the users from the database except the currently logged in user. So here, the path for this API is going to be get all users, okay? And here also, we are going to handle a get request because from the client, we are going to get a get request in order to fetch all the users from the backend. So we are going to handle that get request. Okay, and this API also should only be accessible to the authenticated users. That's why we are also using this auth middleware before calling this callback function. Now, inside this callback function, I'm going to keep this catch block as it is. So from there, we are going to return this error response. But in the try block, let's go ahead and let's write the logic to fetch all the users from the database except the current user. Now, since we want to fetch all the users, we cannot use this find one method on this user model. Instead, we are going to use find method. And what this find method is going to do is, it is going to fetch all the users from the database if we don't specify this filter. Now here, we do want to fetch all the users, but we want to exclude the currently logged in user. So here, again, we are going to pass a filter object and in that filter object, we are going to write the logic to exclude the currently logged in user and fetch all other users from the database. And the logic would be here, we are going to filter the user based on the underscore ID property. And for whichever user, the underscore ID property is not equal to the ID of the currently logged in user, only those users we want to fetch. So to this ID, again, we are going to specify an object. And here we are going to use an operator, a MongoDB operator, which is not equal to. So all those users whose ID is not equal to request.body dot user id so as we learned this auth middleware it is going to add this user id property on the request so all those users whose underscore id is not equal to this user id we want to fetch those users okay now here this expression it is going to return us a list of users so instead of calling this variable as user we are going to call it as all users or you can also call it as users and we are going to pass all these users in the response so here the message will be maybe all users fetched successfully and this success will be true and in the response data we are going to return all the users from the database let's save the changes here i can see this red squiggly here let's see what is this error so let's go to terminal and it says there is a syntax error let's go back so here request dot body dot user id but i'm not sure why we are getting this error here so here let's try request dot body dot user id here we are not getting any error so what i'll do is i'll create a variable here and i'll call it as user id okay and to that user id i'm going to assign this request.body.user id and now i'm going to use this user id here and here we don't need to have these curly braces okay i think that was the issue anyway let's create this variable and let's use it here let's save the changes now Let's go to terminal and let's see if the application has compiled successfully or not. So the application has compiled and the DB connection is also successful. Let's go ahead and let's test this get all users endpoint. So let's go to Postman. And before we test that API, let's go ahead and let's create one more user. So in the body, I'm going to specify the first name as Mark, last name as what, email Mark what 
at gmail.com and let's keep the password as test1234 and let's go ahead let's create this user so the user created successfully let's go to our database let's refresh this collection and now we should have two users so now we have two users john and mark let's go back to postman from here i'm going to copy this url let's open a new tab and from here also we are going to make a get request but this time we are going to make the get request to get all users so let me copy this path let's go to postman let's replace this path here okay and since only an authenticated user can access this api we need to add authorization header and here we are going to select bearer token and there we are going to specify the authentication token so here the authentication token is already selected this authentication token is for this user so this authentication token is for the user whose email is johnsmith at gmail.com so in this case when we are going to make a get request here in the response we should only get this second user we should not get this john smith user so let's go back to postman and let's make this request and in the response you will see that we have one object we have one object and that object that user is mark what let's go ahead and let's create one more user so let's say mary jane mary jane at gmail.com let's create this user so the user is created let's go to this get all users api let's make the request and now in the response we should have two users mark and mary and not john because john is the currently logged in user so we don't want to get that user in this result so this api is also working as expected let's also save this request and let's call it as get all users and i'm going to save it in users controller this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day